This Friday, the presidential elections in Ghana represents a crucial test for democracy. Voters have the choice between eight candidates, but most ballot papers will likely be shared between the two big rivals. Opinion polls announce a tight race between incumbent President John Dramani Mahama and his main challenger, Nana Akufo Addo. Mahama has been the head of state for just over four months. He replaced the late John Atta Mills, who died from illness this summer. The newfound oil of the country has been the main focus of the campaign. Ghana started its oil production in 2010 and registered a growth of 14 percent the following year. The prospects of oil revenue raised hopes of greater prosperity. However, many Ghanaians consider they didn't benefit from this boom and that their lives didn't improve. The main issue resolves about the best way to spend the oil wealth. Mr. Mahama pledged to construct more infrastructures for the country, but he could suffer from internal divisions within his party. Meanwhile, Mr. Akufo Addo says he will use oil revenues to pay for free secondary education. He narrowly lost the 2008 elections by less than 100,000 votes. This time, the opposition leader is determined to win the poll. I'm going to win this time. Uh, I'm not contemplating losing. I'm going to win this time. But in any event, I am part of a generation of people who fought for democracy in Ghana to make sure that we would move from authoritarian rule, we would move from one party or military rule, to democratic engagement in Ghana. Opened to multi-parties since 1992, Ghana is hailed as a democratic example in a region where each election is followed by violence.